I have trouble regulating my emotions. I have a suspicion it's to do with the fact that I'm 98th percentile in openness, conscientiousness, and neuroticism, and second percentile in agreeableness and extroversion. Any tips on dealing with that? Yeah, well, if you're really high in openness and you're really high in neuroticism, that can be a rough combination. The conscientiousness should actually help with that, although it might make you a bit perfectionistic. Um, the problem with being high in openness, which is creativity and interest in ideas, and high in neuroticism, which is tendency towards anxiety and emotional pain, is that like open people like to break open boxes, conceptual boxes, and see what's inside, like Pandora's box. But people who are high in neuroticism are, are more likely to respond negatively to complexity and uncertainty. And if you're an open person and you're always thinking up new things, you, you tend to... Um, saw off the branch that you're sitting on on a regular basis and that can be pretty destabilizing any tips on dealing with that well i would repeat what i said earlier i think that one of the things that you do if you're high in anxiety is to stabilize your sleep wake cycles so get up at the same time go to bed at the same time and eat at the same time make sure that you eat breakfast and a big breakfast too that's heavy on fat and protein because if you're hungry and then you stress yourself, especially if you're high in neuroticism, you destabilize your, your insulin production system and it won't restabilize till you go to sleep again. So I would say like two things. One is have a big breakfast. And then also, if you're feeling particularly anxious, try eating something, not carbohydrates, and see if that helps because you, you might be somewhat permanently dysregulated in your um, insulin stress-related insulin production. That would be worth trying. I would also say that you should shield yourself to some degree from news sources and, and sources of bad news, especially um, cat catastrophic news, because most of it isn't news. It's the repetition of things that we already know full well. And there's reason to protect yourself from uh, an onslaught of negative information, especially when it's not really necessary for you. I mean, I don't think you should bury your head in the sand, but constant exposure to the catastrophes of the world, um, especially when there's nothing that you can do about those catastrophes, even hypothetically, is something that can really destabilize people. I often tell people in my clinical practice, um, which isn't operating right now, by the way, um, to shield themselves from news reports because it's just too much. If you're depressed and anxious, it's just not something that you need. It's not helpful to you. Second percentile in agreeableness and extroversion. Well, you know, one of the things that you can do if you're that low in agreeableness, that shouldn't dysregulate your emotions, but it might interfere with your relationships with other people, you know, because you might be a little bit harder to, you might take other people's feelings into consideration less than might be good for you. One of the things that people who are low in agreeableness can do is to try to think of things they could do for other people and make that a practice. You know, like maybe once a week you could consciously do someone a favor or give someone a gift, something like that, and practice being, um, what would you call it, compassionate and polite. You know, that'll expand your personality rather than transforming it so then maybe you could have the advantages of being disagreeable which means you're tough-minded and skeptical and competitive and 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 th those can all be really good things but it would be nice to be able to leave in that a little bit with some with the ability to take other people's perspectives a bit more and to take them into account and then you know if your relationships improve that can also improve your emotional stability because one of the ways that people regulate their anxiety is by having people around them that they get along with. Because, you know, if, you're, if you upset people, then they upset you, and especially if you're high in neuroticism, and um, that can increase your anxiety and your pain. So... Thank you for watching my videos. I hope these videos are helping people who are experiencing some mental ailments like anxiety, depression, or agoraphobia. Please keep in mind, you are not alone and things will get better. Until next time, stay begruntled.